Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP. Today, in honor of American Independence Day, we're going to play a game of shark practice. Alright, so today's game is not part of the Good Doctor campaign. We figured we would just throw some uh, forces on the table and have a good old-fashioned shootout uh, to celebrate the birth of the United States. So, of course, we're using our AWI guys, and um, we're going to roll to see who's who, so it'll be totally random. As far as the mission goes, uh, we just made up a mission. I pretty much wanted just to have a straight fight, so what I did was I just put two primary deployment points two feet in from each short edge, and that's where we're going to be deploying from. Uh, terrain wise you can see it's pretty open we do have two orchards so the way these orchards work you can't see all the way through them if you're in them you can see or be seen and also if you're up against these walls you can see across through to the other wall so we got two of those and we have some woods also these are just uh, block line of sight woods not too many of them but there is some places for skirmishers to hang back and fire if someone so wishes to do that so and the objective is just going to be force the uh, enemy off the table through force morale or just force him to uh, give it up because he has no chance so that's it very straightforward um, oh and I forgot uh, after turn four we're going to keep track of some turns so after turn four if a player uses four command um, four of his command uh, cards he can bring in a unit of dragoons, so that could make it interesting. It could tip the balance one way for sure. So that is it. Uh, like I said, super simple mission. Now we'll take a look at the forces. So we'll start off over here with the dastardly redcoats. So in charge we have Captain Henry Gage on his horse. He is a level two leader. Assisting him in his command of these two groups is Sergeant John Knox. He is a level one leader. Um, and uh, he's Commander 2. <laughs> okay, Commander 3 is going to be Lieutenant Archibald Argyle in charge of these two groups of red coats, And he's a level 2. And then over here we have Lieutenant Roger Sharp in charge of two groups of light infantry in line. So rules-wise, uh, these groups, they only have sharp practice. These guys here, the light infantry, they're very good. They have all the trappings of a light infantry unit, aggressive tomahawks, and all that good stuff. So moving on, uh, leader number five, Sergeant Joseph Murray, in charge of the British Light Cannon. He is level one. Leader six, Lieutenant Dan Klain. He's a level one leader. He's in charge of these foot dragoons. So these guys are not light infantry. They are only uh, dismounted dragoons, so they'll just fight as regular skirmishers. And leader seven is Tatanka. He is leading a group of Indian skirmishers. And they're going to be uh, just regular skirmishers as well. Uh, but they're going to have Tomahawks, aggressive and prominent leader. So that is the uh, British force. Now we'll take a look at the Americans. Here we have the heroic American forces ready to win their country. So first leader is leader number one, Captain Stephen Russell. He is a level two leader. Assisting him in command of his two groups of Continental Line is Sergeant Samuel Martin, uh, level one. Leader number three, Bartholomew Hancock. Lieutenant. He is a level two leader in charge of two groups of uh, Continental Line. Moving on to number four, we have Captain Solomon Montrose in charge of two groups of militia, and he is a level two. So, rules wise, sharp practice for these two groups, and these guys have no bayonets and all the rest of the stuff that militia always has. So, they're not great in combat, but if they can get some volleys going and just plant down and, and just keep firing, they can be pretty good. So moving on, we have Sergeant Scott Driscoll. He is a level one. He has his daughter Maggie here helping out crew the cannon to kill off the dastardly redcoats. Light cannon. Um, over here, keep moving on, we got Lieutenant, I'm sorry, Captain Robert Wadsworth and his group of rangers. He's level one and they do have rifles and um, aggressive tomahawks, all that kind of good stuff. 
And then finally, we have Lieutenant Johnny Walker leading a group of Continental Light Infantry. So that are the, those are the forces. Uh, I didn't do points. I don't know how many points these are. I just kind of threw everything out there. Um, I'm pretty sure the British are probably higher in points because those light infantry in line are pretty expensive, especially when you compare them to the uh, militia. So that's it for the forces. Uh, we're going to have the flags are going to be uh, given for free and the musician as part of the force. And I'm not sure. Uh, we'll probably do some... Uh, support possibly med, uh, medicine man or, or holy man or something like that but we're not going to have any movable deployment points we're just going to be using these uh, fixed deployment points that are already on the table so that is it for the intro and the forces and then when Andre gets here we'll roll off to see who's who and we'll roll off to see who picks what side and then we'll begin the battle so Andre has arrived uh, we've I'm the Americans he's going to be the red coats and he decided to take that table edge. And the only extra support we're gonna take is one extra shot of canister each. So we'll have four shots of canister, and we both roll the one on our force morale, so we're both in a nine. And we begin the game. Blue flag. Tiffin. <laughs> All right, well, turn two. So we're two turns closer to being able to bring in the game. <laughs> Next. Uh, I can't believe you wasted a flag like that, <laughs> Travis. No. Red flag. Okay, let's see if I can waste a flag here. Blue flag. All right. <laughs> uh, we did put him in, right? Yeah, okay. Blue five. That's Sergeant Driscoll in the cannon. Yeah, Is I'm not that... going to bring him on yet. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make sure I have something to shoot at. So. <laughs> Give me something to shoot at. Three. There's something to shoot at. That is Lieutenant Archibald Argyle. So he is your second group of two Rayco. So remember, you can also combine all four into one big group, however you want to do it. Actually, you probably could combine all six of them into one giant mega group. But That's one hell of a line. <laughs> it'd be hard to maneuver. I don't even know if you would fit through, uh, through here, but... Anyway, we'll let this, him decide what he wants to do with Argyle. So Andre just brought Argyle in off of that jump off point there. Ooh! That's the big man. Lieutenant, or Captain Gage with his two groups of red coats. Captain Gage has come in behind Argyle. Getting ready to do some snapping too. Two, that's uh, Sergeant Knox. That's my sergeant for my leader's group formation, I should say. Three. That's Lieutenant Hancock. He is my other uh, leader of two groups of line. Lieutenant uh, Hancock has come in over on this deployment point. Next card. Blue six. That is Robert Wadsworth. So Wadsworth has come in right here, 12 inches from that deployment point, and we're going to fire onto that front rank of troops. Uh, he's not in column, or he's he looks like a column, but technically it's two different. I don't know. I don't really. We don't have the energy to try to figure it out. So <laughs> we need uh, fours. First fire, long range. One, two, three, four. Nice. And this is the game where I roll. Yeah, so these are all going to go into this uh, formation here in the front. So you have to split them up. Okay. So the two with the leader. A shock and the other two. Ooh, a dead and a shock. So a uh, dead here, and then uh, a shock, and then a shock there. Okay, well, a dead and two shock, I'll take it. Uh, I took it. <laughs> Red six. That is Lieutenant Dan and his foot dragoon. Oh, Lieutenant Dan has come here off of the pig deployment point. <laughs> 12 inches, skirmishers. Go, Dan, go. Red flag. Mm. Haven't seen many flags since we started. <laughs> Red seven. That's Lieutenant Johnny Walker. So Johnny came in off of this jump off point here to counter Lieutenant Dan and his dragoons. Blue flag. Come on, give me four blue flags, Andre. Four? What are you going to do with four flags? Three. Hold on. What do we got left in there? How many do we have left? Quite a few. All right, keep going. 
Just, I'm just kidding. Uh -huh. I saw it on top, so I palmed it. Not funny. <laughs> okay. Well, you pull it now for sure after pulling that joke. The dice gods are going like that. Uh. Blue four. That's Mr. Solomon Montrose. Captain Montrose and his militia have come in here behind Wadsworth. Next card. Uh, now you have three flags. So you could bring something in or you could wait to the fourth flag. I'm kind of half tempted to try to bring in something now, but... <sighs> hmm. Are you going to bring anything in? Are you just going to keep pulling? Um... You got your uh, light infantry left, and your cannon, and your Indians. So Andre brought in Sergeant Murphy and his cannon crew there, but he cannot see through this. So he's got a line here, and if anyone happens to enter the orchard, obviously. <laughs> and my fourth, uh, fourth flag. red flag. Too bad I just burned three of them. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it in the cannon, of course. Uh, Hold on, how many are left? I think I'm going to use Six, my seven. three. I think I'm going to use my three to bring my main man into. Alrighty. So he burned three. I brought him in. So something red. Two. That's your sergeant. Uh, sergeant uh, Knox in your main man. He can yell at those guys to take some shock off. Yep. Uh, no, he's not attached to them. <laughs> <laughs> there's so there's your blue a flag. Four. Now I'll probably get the one out. <laughs> okay. Here's your one. Oh, no. nope, my five. That's your cannon. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. This is going down to the end with the chiff, with the tiffin. There's your <laughs> one. Okay. Well, oh well. Yeah, me too. I have to do Ooh, it. Ooh, seven. That's Tatanka. actually uh, somebody. That's Tatanka. Tatanka has come in back there behind those trees. Man, there's only two left, right? You Tiffin. chose the Tiffin. I chose wisely. <laughs> now you can't bring in Sharp, so man, that turn went all the way down to the end almost. Well, it was the inverse of the first turn. Yep. Now we are on turn three. Top of three. And Big flag. we always like to start with flags. Seems it's always like it. good to have a flag to start. Red six, that's Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Klain has moved this direction, staying off the wall. That's Tatanka. Tatanka has, uh, what do you got, 15 inch run? Yep. All the way out there. So he's not wasting any time. Hey, you get another flag. Oh, cool. Keep them coming. I get a flag. That's two flags in a row. Watch you get like move 3d6 forward. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, pull one Four. of mine at some point, Andre. I've pulled two of your flags. Roger on. Sharp. So Lieutenant Roger Sharp and his group formation of light infantry in line have come in over there by the cannon. Okay, come on, pull one of mine, Andre. <laughs> pull two flags, what more do you want? <laughs> I guess at this point it doesn't really matter. Actually, probably better for you to do all this before I do. So I can actually, assuming you don't pull the Tiffin next. <laughs> that would be the uh, that, smart thing to do. That could be a problem. So he just uh, had uh, Gage ordered um, Argyle's formation to join his formation. So they just snapped back with him. Okay, that's your sergeant in there. <laughs> a blue one, okay. It's, it's time for a blue one now, Andre. The blue one. No. Blue one would be great. Blue flag. How about a flag? Hey, look, you can... I might probably should uh, do something just so I... <laughs> just so pulling. is this the turn uh, for Dragoons? Next or... turn. Ne oh. <laughs> Next turn. Bummer. Bummer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, um, I think I will do something what, with that. Well, well, hang on, Travis. Before you uh, get all excited, though, if the Tiffin comes out next... Yeah. What happens? Uh... You'll have activated one unit, or you can activate four units. Yeah, that's true. But if I activate one unit now, I can activate all of these guys. He's got the commands for that? He's got two. Oh, you're right, two commands. All right, what the hell. You're right. 
If we were shooting, I could do some chart practice. I promised everyone that I would try to do that. Three. Uh, three. Hancock. So that's over here. Hancock moved up 10 at an angle to clear uh, Walker's group. Two. That's my sergeant. Nothing. Oh, the suspense. It's well, the blue, too. I mean, the I, blue I, one. I got, <laughs> uh, I got all the blue out now. <laughs> that's true. Blue five, man, that's my cannon. Shoot, but I don't have anywhere to put them. Let me think. <laughs> I did. I wanted to put them here, but uh, let me think about it. So he came in, but I can't clear these guys. Andre won't let me do it. No, I'll let you do it. You just uh, 50 50 chance on which uh, unit you hit. D six on a four plus. I get my own guys. <laughs> Three. I'll even let you load canister. That's Argyle, your other level two leader in the super group formation, I should say. Conan groups. Four, that's Montrose. Okay. Everybody's activating. So uh, Montrose just used both his actions to turn and march this direction. He's actually facing this way, but at the moment, it's not <laughs> too dangerous. Too horrible a thing. That's Johnny. So Johnny Walker, he just moved, and like Lieutenant Dan, he stayed just off the wall just because there's no point being the first one against the wall right now. A new saying, smart as Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> yes. And... Tiffin. Oh, man. Damn it. There we got the one. Okay, but I do... So I can still activate him and them, and that's it. What, do you have anything left to activate? The cannon? Oh, yeah. Um... Just the cannon. That's it. Yeah, One, two, because three, four, Tautonka, five. Five is uh, your cannon. Six. Uh, yeah, just the cannon. Wow. Okay, so I go first because I have more flags. Than yes, me. you do. So at the end, uh, I moved Wadsworth up two d six, and then tap reloaded. These guys moved up six, and then he moved his cannon and Sergeant Murray over got a six. So everyone's in moving into place. And we are in turn four, so if anyone gets four flags now, it could be a dragoon. And you're a quarter of the way there. <laughs> and Starting blue off flag. with our uh, typical blue flag. Seems like that happens every time. Uh, two, yeah, I can't do anything two. yet. Two. Can do nothing yet with that. Blue five. That's my start. Or Aren't my you going to whine about not getting any red ones, Travis? No, and I'm whining about you not letting me fire my cannon. <laughs> you can fire your cannon. You just need to get those boys out of the way first. Yeah, a millimeter cl too close to these guys, so I can't fire. Uh, I'll just move my cannon then. So Sergeant Driscoll just moved the cannon up at an angle of five inches. So now I have a firing lane for whenever I actually get to fire the cannon. <laughs> If you get to, fire that's your uh, Sergeant Knox. If yeah, next turn it'll be, if it happens. Okay, <laughs> that's All two that flags for in a, a row. Flag. That's two flags in a row. And oh no, I'm not the scared. man. Okay, so that's uh, Captain Russell. First thing uh, Captain Russell did was ordered Montrose to turn. And head that way. They got a 10, so they got a really good move. Andre was hoping I would have forgot these guys were facing this way. He's going to fire the cannon, double shock, and that might have been the end of the militia. <laughs> it, uh, stranger things have happened. <laughs> they would have probably taken me the rest of the game to get them back in order. That's uh, that, that would have been nice. Oh. oh, wow. Yeah. So I have two, and you have one. So I'll get to do something first. So I moved, uh, I'm sorry, I moved them up. I moved them up last, at the end, of, before the turn ended. So I moved these guys over. He's going to fire his cannon at uh, Montrose, even fours. Oh, man. Two hits. Seriously. That's the dice gods getting back at Andre for tricking me into moving my <laughs> guys into cannon range. <laughs> I moved up three. I said I don't want to go too much. I can go another D6. So I moved up two more and suddenly I'm Well, you range. were trying to not get into range of these guys was, I thought, the whole well, point. It, well, and trying to cl stay clear of that uh, edge of that uh, thing there. So two hits. All right. So I guess they both have to go on these guys. Yep. 
So one dead, or no, just a shock. Because sixes or fives don't kill people in this game. Uh, the cannons probably should make an exemption for that. <laughs> and then I have one thing left. So Wadsworth, uh, he moved over with one. He's going to fire it uh, to Tonka with another one and then reload, tap reload. So I'm needing fives, and Tatanka will be getting hardcover. So three hits on Tatanka. Give me some shock. A shock. I'll be happy with a shock. Nope. Not anything. Uh, I think that's a reroll. Okay. Oh. Hey, dead. <laughs> I'll take that then. You'll take that. See if it's Tatanka. Nah. That was close. Uh. All right, now we are moving on to turn five. Man, I'm already down two to nothing. <laughs> yeah, one red coat and one Indian. Oh, like Indians are less valuable. <laughs> You're so racist. <laughs> I didn't mean Come on, Travis. <laughs> <laughs> one Indian is worth two red coats in this battle. Uh, four, that's Montrose. Montrose took the chalk off and moved 2d6, got a two, but he was able to get up far enough to get clear of uh, the British cannon. Of course it's not going to fire again anytime soon anyway. <laughs> At least not this turn. That's uh, just my sergeant. And he always comes out early. I should send him out on his own little <laughs> recon mission. <laughs> yeah. That's your cannon. My cannon. My cannon, my cannon. Uh, I guess I reload. Okay. Tap reload. Fire at half range. <laughs> That'd be pretty sweet. Actually, yeah, I, I'll take it. <laughs> that would actually be pretty cool. Uh, that's Tatanka. Tatanka. So Tatanka's gonna fire at Montrose. Even fours. And four. Four hits on Montrose's group. Three shock, which is pretty good. It is. And then he's gonna reload. And that's, uh, I won't put my dice in the bag. <laughs> Probably a good idea. Blue flag. Step out, Montrose. No, not Montrose. Uh, let's see here, is that a six? Hey, that's Wadsworth. Speak of the devil. Wadsworth's men moved out of the orchard, and we're going to fire onto Tatanka and Eden Fives. Two hits. Give me a shock. That's all I asked for. That's all you asked for last time. You got a kill. <laughs> yeah, I asked for it again. Oh, two shock. I'll take that. Even better because you're in soft cover. So that will severely limit Tatanka's effectiveness. Since he's only level one leader. Yep. And next card, please. That's your sergeant. You have no shock left to remove. <laughs> that big wall of British Red Coast is just going to be steamrolling up here soon. Six. I would like to think so. Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan has advanced to the wall. He's going to fire at the guys here against the wall. Even force. <laughs> Three hits. Three hits. All right, so hard cover. Cover. Long shock. One died and a hard cover. It's not the leader. So just a dead guy and one shock. Good enough. That's pretty good in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Getting a kill in this game is pretty good. A me flag. Seven. That's Walker. Mr. Johnny Walker. So Johnny Walker has moved up to the wall with his move, free move, and we're going to fire at Lieutenant Dan Klein, uh, needing force. So three hits, hard cover, super hard cover, super hard. Because you're a light infantry or a skirmisher in hard cover. Behind uh, a rock wall, behind an orchard. Pretty good. So it did nothing. Well, yeah. And then we'll reload. Double hard cover. We reload, and we'll just stay right there. I'll grab a flag. Oh boy. I sense the Dragoon's coming out. Three. Three. Argyle. That's your other guy in the 
You're level. You're other level two in that big formation. So he can't do anything unless he breaks. Well, but he doesn't have rank to break off. That's right. He'd have to be ordered to break off by Gage at this point. Which I was actually thinking of doing two turns ago, but <laughs> I've not had an opportunity because I never draw but <laughs> one. Ah, uh, you're killing me. But you do get to go first because you have two flags to my one. Uh, so Sergeant Dreskel moved his cannon up. Um, Andre tried to move the big formation this way and reface and got a one inch move, but he is facing the correct way again at least. If not, I would have fired the cannon for sure. <laughs> and then uh, Roger Sharp just moved at a 45 this direction, four inches. Next turn. All right. Now it's starting to get important. Blue flag. Red seven. That's Tatanka. Oh. Yeah, he's going to have to do <laughs> something. He's got two shock on him. So Tatanka's going to fire at Wadsworth with five shots. Two hits. Okay. Oh, man. Another dead. It's not Wadsworth. A dead and a shock. That's probably worth it then, Andre. It, uh, it turned out. We'll see how his move does. So I'm going to go 2d6 minus 2. And do I care if I'm up against the wall? Um, I'll try to stay off the wall. We'll see what I roll. I'm not going to be too tough <laughs> to stay off the wall with that. Not the three inch move. So that's where Water, uh, Tatanka ended up there. Not quite as far as he wanted to be, but hopefully enough so he doesn't get uh, blown out of the prairie here. Got to get another shock on you. Five. That's uh, your cannon. cannon. Yep. The cannon, the cannon. The British cannon. So Sergeant Murray's cannon is going to fire at these guys here. Needing fours. One, two, three, four, five, six hits. And they all have to go on the Sergeant uh, Martins. Because for some reason I decided to move that extra two inches up. <laughs> I don't know what you were thinking. Well, I wasn't going to do it, but Andre talked me into it for some reason. So uh, Seemed like a good idea to me. Four shock and a dead. Yeah, it was a great idea for you. <laughs> I don't know why I let you talk me into doing that. The whole point it was, was a just, really good idea. I said I didn't want to get too far up, and mainly it was to stay out of range of that. So you well, you were measure into these guys, and I'm like, well, now no matter if you could roll a six, and you're not going to get in range of my line. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Andre. <laughs> hey, I will never forget that. I'm here for you. <laughs> Four. Sharp. Should we put That's your uh, cards there. in, or do you care? Uh, you don't care. I just need the four flags so I can bring in uh, <laughs> my dragoons. So that's Roger Sharp. So Roger Sharp moved up eight this direction. Next card. Blue something. Watch a Tiffin. Blue tiffin? <laughs> Three more a red blue flags. Blue tiffin. tiffin. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that's our Argyle. Again. Again. You can't do anything. That's the downside of having all those leaders in there with but when That's the downside of going Three turns now without a one? Well, you did activate them last at the end of the member. Three turns inch. without a one. <laughs> it's. Yeah. yeah I've been trying to break that up stagnant. for a long time since about the time I put it together. And again, the blue two is my first one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. You got a shot. Yes. Or you had a shot. He has a job to do, finally. Another flag. <laughs> oh, Tiffin. Wow. Okay, well that was a good that turn for you. That was a free turn for Andre. Yeah, I didn't do it. I literally did nothing. And so I, take I a still shot can't... Still, uh, yeah, you can. Well, I can't break anything. Yeah, that's true. So the uh, big formation just moved up and then Lieutenant Dan's going to fire at uh, Johnny Walker. So seven shots. Eight and five. Hey! <laughs> hey man, that's all you need. Give it to me. Nope. Okay. All right, so that was Andre's free turn for the game. <laughs> All right. <laughs> not so getting to fire to a the, shot did not help me. Back to the regular game. <laughs> Andre's bonus round is over. <laughs> oh, so nope, nope. Tatanka. <sighs> Tatanka. All right, Andre. Yeah, well, he needed to... Uh, he needed a... So Tatanka escaped 
my clutches, sadly. <laughs> Only there's one more shock on them. Well, one more, and then one more, and then, yeah, it starts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Andre, it's two turns in a row now I haven't done anything. Luckily, you didn't get a bunch of this time, though. Yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> all, all I did was uh, rescue Tataka. Which is pretty good. <laughs> yes, it w I mean, of all the things I could have done with a uh, one-unit free turn, um, that would have been my first choice. The cannon's unloaded, right? He just shot it at these guys. So he should be unloaded. No, I reloaded. You fired and reloaded? No, I fired and then the next turn I reloaded. Didn't you just, but you just put all this on him the turn right before to talk this turn. I shot again? I did shoot again. Yeah, because I got three shock on me. <laughs> Something put well, it on me. Well, I, I guess sure either you get to pull all those shock <laughs> off or I got to put two smoke clouds <laughs> out in front. I'll do, take the shock off. <laughs> I'll put the smoke out. Okay, here we go. And blue five. Just to make That's it look like cannon. I'm not cheating too much. That's my cannon. All right, Sergeant Driscoll is not going to let Tatanka get away scot-free, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Uh, see what I did there? Scot-free. Okay. So, okay. Uh, yeah. Rolling on. Presenting. And first fire, so needing fours. Come on, need some shock on you. One, two, three, four, five, six Ouch. hits. And you are in the open because... I reduce cover by one. Ouch. Have some shock and some kills. Uh, one three. dead and three shock. So we're up to five. Nice. Good job, Driscoll. And another one bites the dust. Uh, so Tatanka's at five men with five shock. Ooh. That's my main guy. Now I should probably pull back <laughs> just to get out of cannon range. <laughs> Because you're going to reload this turn and then fire again next turn. So Captain Russell's men moved back 1d6, 5, turned around, and he took the shot off. Actually, yeah, I can still take a shot off. This is the turn of the blue turn. The blue turn. I need a blue turn. Tatanka. <laughs> That's your man, Tatanka. So he can fall back. Yep. I guess you actually want me to roll dice for that. You're trying to get behind those trees? Yep. Okay. So yeah, he makes it. <laughs> so Tatanka is going to sit back there and pull shock the rest of the game. And next flag. Now's my chance. It is. Three. I think that's uh, this guy here. All right. So, um, what the hell's his name? Hancock. He ordered this group to fall back 1d6 and turn around, so they're just out of here. This group's going to stay here by itself, and we're going to fire at Lieutenant Dan. So, the reason I'm doing that is because the way they were, the arc would not, when you're in formation, you can only fire forward in an arc. But if they're a group like this, they can actually fire it similar to uh, like a skirmish group or something. So I'm going to have them present and fire. So I'm needing fours hitting Lieutenant Dan. One, two, three, four. Four X. Hard cover. Super hard cover. Super, super hard. Nothing. <laughs> okay. Super hard. So Lieutenant Dan is really dug in behind that fence. And the trees. And as a skirmisher, he's a professional digger. Going there unloaded. <clears throat> I'll grab a smoke here in a minute. If I can pull something other than a bunch of flags. That's Six. Lieutenant Dan. The man himself. He's going to fire it all uh, Walker. Even fives this time. A hit. Nothing. And again, a nothing. The These Battle of the Orchard is uh, <laughs> moving slow. This is kind of how I envisioned it when I. Uh, made those rules up. Four. That's Roger Sharp. The guy, exactly the guy I didn't want to get. <laughs> Luckily he can't do anything unless he's going to have to move. So I should have at least one more turn to 
not get hit by him. So Roger Sharp has moved up into the orchard. He's tired of messing around. He wants to get some shooting. So next card. Tiffin. Oh. Uh, that's your sergeant again. <laughs> Man, the one is just not coming out for you. Except I could detach him, couldn't well, I? Well, he has to be ordered by yes. Gage. <laughs> he's not, he's, I don't think they'd be too happy. He's just, you know, I'm just going to take you guys and head this way. <laughs> no, he was just going to head off on his own. Yeah, that's what I mean. I don't think Gage would be too happy if the sergeant just ran off with him. He group. doesn't have to be happy about it. <laughs> oh, you mean just by himself, literally? Yeah. Without anyone? <laughs> yeah. yeah, he still wouldn't be happy. <laughs> 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 no, I was uh, gonna give uh, Tatanka some help getting rid of. Oh. But he Pull would actually have together. to order him over there. Yeah. Blue flag. All right. Blue flag. Hmm. Are we gonna go three flags in a row here? I don't know, man. Are you gonna? Are you thinking about activating a unit or? I'll decide that later. That's three flags in a row. So Lieutenant Happy Dan. Days. Oh boy. So that's 2d6. Hopefully right? you don't get the one where you charge for the bayonets gleaming. <laughs> thin red line! Attack! Ooh, I got to. I could do the thin red line. You could have. Before you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Roll it, roll it and we'll see what it is. It is a nine. So, it was the damn map. Where's the damn map? Which meant if they're in column they can do something, but... Obviously, but they're not in columns. So we're in the orchard. Never so, mind. Uh, <laughs> who's got the orchard map? I'm glad it wasn't the one where you get to charge forward like it told you. <laughs> Ooh, three flags. Oh boy. We might see some dragoons. That could change the balance one more of the flag game. And it'll be dragoons. Blue flag. Oh. Tiffin! <laughs> Damn. Three and three. No dragoons. And we're tied, so we roll off to who see who activates first. Yep. I got a one. I got a three. You go first. Yeah. So the big man's group just moved at a 45 up this direction. Over here, uh, Wadsworth did a 3d6 move, got out to there, and then uh, with three shock, uh, these guys just barely made it over the wall and he re reloaded his cannon. Even though he's definitely got no firing line now. <laughs> Spread out, guys. <laughs> hey, that's your cannon. <laughs> Fire! <laughs> Cannon has moved up six. I need a blue one. Nope, it's a blue three. That's Hancock. That's these guys. Now that they're split up like this, I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what the hell can I possibly? I don't. I can. I guess I can just shoot with them, right? That's really all you can do. Or you could run back to that other group and try and command the other group. Fall back. Maybe I'll just fire at them. Not ideal, but yeah, the reason I did this because I couldn't fire at them because the arc, plus they weren't really able to see anything anyway, and I was just limiting their firing. But now it's like, uh, I could just move back a d6 and just try to get back in. I'm just going to shoot. <laughs> Hell with it. Let me think about it. So he just ordered this squad to move up and then snapped them in, so they're not going to be able to shoot. But they are in the, behind the wall. So I have to trust that wall's gonna help me out. Well, there is a hole in the wall. Through though. the volley. <laughs> see how that wall's a little short there? Yeah, Andre. I see a firing <laughs> hole. Yeah, I know. Woohoo! Oh, a red one. Fine. Hey, haven't seen one of those in about five turns. He wheeled up with 1d6, and he's gonna fire at them. Feeding fives. With 26 shots. One, two, three, okay? I'll just set those out over here. Okay. So and first rank. Second rank, fire! <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. So five more, so eight hits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess they all have to go on those guys. Because I can't see the other guys. Yep. So what do we got here? Two shock. Wow. That was very fortunate. Yes, it was. But. I'm cumulative five now, so when those militia start getting that many shock, it starts to get hard to uh, do anything. All right, so next card. Uh, 
yeah, I was hoping for a for a total uh, devastating volley there, but yeah, these guys were out of range, so it was just those three rinks over there. So that's Driscoll. He'll just reload. <laughs> My sergeant. That guy comes out every single turn. <laughs> yeah. But at I least he's able to do something, though. I know the feeling. <laughs> Six. That's Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan. So Lieutenant Dan moved four, and he's going to fire, and I'm guessing reload. Yeah. Uh, at these guys. The usual. So fives. I'll get one hit, and you'll see. Hopefully. Oh, man. So it's not Dan, though, thank God. All right. All right, I need something, man. Give me something, Andre. <laughs> that's not something. That's your, that's Argyle. Yep. Who I almost detached, but didn't. Which, yeah. Probably would have worked out better if I had. Red flag, all right. Something blue here. Something blue. Here we go. Some, something. All right. That's something. That is definitely something. My cannon already went, though. He reloaded. So let me think here. So I moved, uh, I wound up moving my leader just over here by himself because I wanted to get in range. And I got in range of the militia and I ordered them and they just barely made it over the wall. So they're out of sight now. Next card. Blue flag. All right. Three more blue flags. Oh Red no. Flag. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> if you get Ram's bottom in, I'm really going to be in trouble. Uh, it's tempting to uh, activate somebody, but. Uh, it would be. Having. Uh, that's. That's. Is that three flags in a row? I think so. Pretty sure. So it was a random event. It was uh, these guys, they got to step out, lads. They can may move 1d6, but I decided, actually, could I just use that move? I'll just turn around. Perfect. So. <laughs> turn around, boys. We got a free turn around. There we go. <laughs> turn around. <laughs> okay. Oh, another flag. Uh-oh. Come on, blue flag. Next flag is uh, it's four flags a around. game changer. Yes. Oh! I'm going to bring in Talmadge. All right, so Captain Talmadge has brought his uh, Dragoons in over here at the canter. Tiffin, please. <laughs> please. God. I don't need to see I'd like Ram's to order bottom. a Tiffin, please. <laughs> oh, oh, Ram's bottom. Or do I want to take another? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't no. think so. <laughs> Afraid so. So he brought in Ram's bottom over here at the... Uh, Cantor. Cantor, okay. Next card. So, somehow, both of them came out on the same turn, which is kind of cool. Oh, finally, the man, Johnny. God, I've been waiting for that guy's card for like <laughs> five turns, it seems like. So, Johnny Walker had to use all three of his dice, but he got over to there. Die, bug. <laughs> okay, next dice, or next card. Red too, that's your sergeant, which yeah, can't do anything there. Blue six, that's Wadsworth. So Wadsworth just moved back. I was gonna try to run forward, but the way that angle of 45 for the canter was, I would have had to, well, I wound up getting the roll I needed. <laughs> I didn't know that before I rolled, so next card. Uh, I would have loved to get him over here. That would have been, Annoying, yes. But you could have just went to the walk. This is true also. Uh, Montrose. Uh, okay, he's just going to take off two shock. So I'll just take one off here. He's level two? Yeah. I did not realize and that. And then one here. Okay, next. Tiffin. Tiffin? But you got way more. It's all, the rest of them are mine. Mine, oh, mine, look at mine. That. Sharp didn't get to, oh, what a shame. <laughs> If you didn't, if Ram's bottom didn't come over, come in over here, I think you would have had some trouble over here. It so was, it's a good call bringing him in on this side. <laughs> well, yeah. It, uh, hey, look at that—the traditional blue flag from the early part of the game. Yeah. Okay, so we're going back to. I'd be fine with that. 
You Lieutenant get a blue Dan. flag, I get... Uh, That's Lieutenant Dan Clean. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan, move to the end of the wall, 1d6, he's going to fire and reload. Two like, whoa! Two hits. Travis! <laughs> this, this, do you surrender? No. Okay. <laughs> it didn't do anything to us. We just uh, brushed it off. Yeah, but it was twice as much of nothing. That's true. He's got one hit every turn in this game that he shot. Except for that one. A double hit. Uh, my sergeant. What else is new? Well, he has been busily pulling shot <laughs> off back here. He's a busy dude. <laughs> oh, no. It's the number one man. Hmm. Of you don't really have much to do. You're going to have to wheel, I guess, huh? You can't see anything over here anymore. So the big boy and his formation wheeled forward one inch and reloaded. So maybe I should get out of the way. <laughs> it's like a, just a juggernaut coming through here, man. Seven. That's Tatanka. Man, you haven't seen hey. his number come up in a while. <laughs> Look at that. So he's a level four leader, so he can pull four shock. Oh, yeah. No, he pulled one shock down to four. Okay. okay. So four turns from now, so about 1.30 this morning, he might be ready to do something. Pretty much. <laughs> Unless you uh, use flags. Flags are now going to be usable more. Five. Since we're not waiting for that uh, four flags to bring those guys in. So that's my cannon. So Sergeant Driscoll spent a moment deciding either to fire at sharp or wheel up and get within canister range. And he chose to wheel up, get within canister range of the big formation. And we are loaded. Red flag. Oh no. <laughs> Foul barrels. <laughs> but wheel back four inches. <laughs> move back at the double. Oh, that's my main guy. Okay. Main man. All right, so Captain Russell again moved himself back. So he's been a really good commander, moving back and forth, back and forth, ordering people. <laughs> and he moved over here and ordered uh, Talmadge to move. Talmadge uh, changed, dropped to the walk and moved six inches up. Or maybe he's just indecisive. <laughs> well, he sees where things need to be done. There's three flags. Oh man, if I get another one, <laughs> there might be some canister shooting. <laughs> Four. That's your, uh... oh, that's sharp. Those guys. That's what, what you needed was something to do with them. Yep. So he decided he's going to present and fire on these guys. These guys are in a tough spot. If they try to charge over here, they could be left exposed to a flank charge from here. If they just fall back, yeah, it's so. If I was two. if I was sure, or it was eight inches over to there, so I need an above average roll just to make the assault. I would have done it if I, on a, if we were seven or six inches. Yeah. Plus, know. I wasn't going to tell you this until you tried it, but I could evade with them. Oh. So as soon as you went out, I could have just dropped back. This is that game, isn't it? <laughs> And then you would have been hanging with your ass in the breeze over here in the flank. <laughs> that would have really sucked. Yes. Okay, so needing twos. Okay, first 12. We see two misses. Okay, so that's 10. And it was 18? Uh, yeah, 16 plus 2 for the leader. And another 6. How many is that? Uh, 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So eight on uh, these guys. Uh, three shock. So they're at four. And then eight on the other group. Uh, two dead and a shock. All right. Well, I shot something. They finally got to fire. Yeah. Next card. But they're unloaded. Yeah, now they're sitting there waiting to get shot. Hey guys, what's <laughs> happening? <laughs> Red flag. Okay. Yeah, we need a couple more of those, don't we? Ugh. Blue hey. flag. Four flags, hmm? So I could have Driscoll fire the canister at you, which yep. really, I'm almost more tempted to fire the canister at those guys <laughs> if I'm in range. All right, I'm going to fire the canister, so present, fire, so I'm hitting on twos with ten, uh, ten dice, so we'll say it's going to split between these so two. we got five hits on each. 
maybe four <laughs> notes. <sighs> Don't there are only ones. No ones. Yeah, so no five one. each. So uh, yeah, right. start over here. Ah! All right, so that's six shock and a dead. <laughs> Doubling and then five here. Oh, four shock and a dead. So ten total shock between these two, and then a dead in each. All right, so Sergeant Driscoll and his daughter Maggie have unloaded a canister into the red coat. So six shock here. So now he has something to do, finally. And then four shock here, and then a dead each. Blue six, that's Wadsworth. I'm just gonna use both his actions to reload as a rifle now. Even though by the time that he gets up here, he probably don't need it anymore, but who knows? He could pull the tiff in. But you'll have the, uh, the option. That's Walker. So Walker's moved up with 1d6. He's going to fire into there, needing threes. So oh, five hits. Soft cover, though. Okay, so three. So dead and two shock. Two shock? Oh, two shock. Yeah, yes. flank, flank two shock. shock and a dead. And a dead. So check him because that's uh, no, wasn't sharp. So two shock here and a dead, and I got an action left. Yeah, reload. <laughs> no brainer there, I guess. I was actually thinking about moving. Oh, but but it was a brainer because <laughs> I was thinking about doing something. It took you about thirty seconds. There's my third flag. Uh oh. That's uh, Archibald Argyle. He's over there. Moving a shock. Two shock. He's moving level two shock. Two. Yep. Okay. We got like five commands in that group there. <laughs> well, and we, you could remove even more if you use these. We, whew, what a good idea. You could be shock free. I could. Tiffin. And what do you have that hasn't activated? Those guys. The cannon. Oh, I guess we never put a we never put a <laughs> thing in for them. <laughs> I guess we should put a card in for those guys. Okay. <laughs> so he's got the cannon and then those guys. So at the last, uh, he moved uh, Ram's Bottom has come uh, at the canter 45 this way. And the cannon actually got turned to face this direction. All right, next turn. Woohoo! It's going to start happening it's here. It's coming to a head now. Yep. Just don't get Ram's Bottom first. <laughs> well, you'll notice how I'm chasing your uh, dragoons off the board. Oh, is that what he's doing? <laughs> yeah, look at that. You're running away from me. <laughs> it's called flanking. <laughs> <laughs> They're attacking. Flank them to the rear. <laughs> All right. Um, so, you probably want me to draw a card, don't you? Yeah, red one. Red one, exactly that. <laughs> red one. I'm sorry, not red one. Blue one. <laughs> <laughs> That's Walker. So we're going to fire again into these guys. Uh, all but one. So five hits again. Soft cover because of the orchard. Soft orchard. Well, you're supposed to split them up, but. I did. Uh, you got six shock. Three and two. <laughs> so six shock. So six shock on those guys, I guess. Wow. That was not intentional. So you're at eight? Yeah. So they're going to fall back. Nice. Uh, so they're just going to fall back an inch altogether. And you had to roll a bad thing. I think this is the first bad thing we've rolled today. <laughs> <laughs> now we're both still at nine. Yeah. Ooh, that's a minus one. Hey, you're at an eight. Woohoo! So I use my last actions to move this way, 1d6, and face back this way. So next card, please. Red three. That's Argyle again. So that's two more shock. Yeah. So all the shock I put on are just going to all come off probably this turn. Yeah, and it's down to six. Which, uh, amazingly enough. That's the thing. You got two level three liters and a level one liter. So even putting all the shock on is not like the end of the world there. That's Ram's bottom. Oh. So he's going to charge them. Needing two sixes. Yeah. 
<laughs> so 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 inch move. Which is very average. So they stopped right there. Tiffin. <laughs> Tiffin and then another red 8. Let's do a blue two first. Yeah, well, the standard blue two. Because <laughs> it always comes out. You can can't get, now we can get a test. <laughs> blue red seven. Who's that? Tatanka. That's, oh, Tatanka. He's level one or two. One. Okay. Look at that. I'm down to three. He's almost uh, mobile again. <laughs> Getting close. Red six. That's uh. Lieutenant Dan, I believe, yeah, Lieutenant Dan. That's this guy here. So Lieutenant Dan moved back 2d6 to get a shot on them. Eight and fives. So three, three hits. hits. Hey, it's pretty good for Dan. Hey, I'm go improving one each time. You got one of them. Uh-oh. Not the leader, though. Whew. That would have been bad. So another dead American, though. Johnny will be writing a letter home tonight if he makes it out of here. Oh boy. Yeah, that's the way, man. But uh, we're gonna reload and we're gonna pray for to get the first one in canister right into Ram's Okay, bottom. four red flags. <laughs> uh, Montrose. Montrose pulled one shot and then wheeled back to face this direction. Red flag. That's the first of the four. Oh, Three God. to go. Here they come. Three to go. Oops. Okay, three to go. How'd we how'd we get the blue one in that <laughs> stack I had glued together in here? Oh, red one. Oh. With nothing to do. With nothing to do. Are you no, kidding nothing me? Nothing to shoot at, I mean. <laughs> so he wasn't able to do anything. <laughs> yes I was. <laughs> we went forward two D six. Yeah. With two the three shock you went forward to snake eyes. So you went forward nothing. Uh, five. five. That's your cannon. Murray. So hey. Murray just moved that way. Six. A lot farther than Gage's company. <laughs> well, a cannon is a lot easier to move than a line of men. Yeah. Shock removal, man. Ooh, that's just one though, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, I thought I was going to do some damage, but I forgot you had so many leaders in there that just... Every time they pull, they can just pull a shock. You, you did do some damage, I did, but, but it didn't stay. Yeah, your man. So Russell's going to order present fire. We haven't fired yet. That I, I don't think we have. Yeah, I never did. So we're hitting on twos because we're close range. First fire present. So that's twos, man. So Andre conveniently stopped Ramswadden directly in front of me. I found your arc. So I missed two. So 16 hits in the open. Can I borrow your cup? <laughs> yeah. I guess you can use the tabletop CP dice cup this time. Ooh. <laughs> this is my first time, Travis. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> okay, I'm a Maybe novice. Teach you how to use a dice cup, Andre? <laughs> well, I'm used to playing dice, not... Uh, <laughs> All right, so I see three dead. Got a lot of non, a lot of ones and twos. You got lucky, though. So three dead and four shock, five, five shock. Five. Check your leader. Keep it oh, to Mr. Ram's bottom. Oh, I'm like, don't I have to spread this out? Actually, technically, I think we're out of range, though. Okay. So I think if you're out of range, it's just like okay. It's, okay. So who'd you hit? It's Ram's, Ram's bottom. bottom. See what happens to him. He just he is lightly wounded. So he loses his one command. And then you take five shock and two dead. Alright, there we go. Five shock and two dead. And a wounded Ram's bottom. Next card. Blue flag. Is that two? Give me two more and then Driscoll's going to light Ram's bottom up. <laughs> Red flag. Oh yeah, you're still trying to charge me, huh? Yeah, well, a couple more flags. Tiffin. Tiffin. Perfect. Great. Uh, so we both have two, but I'm ahead of you. Oh, you got to roll a... Did you roll a bad thing for Ram's bottom being wounded yet? I don't think you did. Uh, no, I rolled for... Uh, 
So minus one, I believe. So I'm gonna, since I have the higher force morale, I get to spin the flag first, and I'm going to activate Bartholomew Hancock, his group, or his formation, and we're going to present and fire minus two, three, four, five, so 13. Actually, I don't think they get the two for him because he's not. So 11. So we'll say six hits. Um, some of them are in different ranges. I should have rolled them separately. So six hits on those guys, soft cover. All right, so the three on the guys that got some. Dead in the shock. And the other three. Two shock. So you're now at ten shock. And two shock. So these guys have one, two, three, four, five, six with ten. That's four. So they're going to fall back four inches and break the formation. So these guys fell back four, broke the formation. So roll a bad thing for, uh, for that. Five. Five? It's uh, another minus one. Actually, yeah, so minus one. Formation broke. Oh, you're rolling for the, uh, okay, for your involuntary fallback. We also have to roll formation broken by fire. Three. Formation broken by fire. Minus one. I'm down to five already. Okay. <laughs> And I'm going to lose this entire battle because of these guys. It was a gamble running them in there. So yeah, but still. That was my first, so you get to do something now. Uh, they move back. And what did I do? I forget what I did now. I moved Wadsworth up. Oh, and this guy shot. And that's that. So next turn. Give me a blue one, Andre. Blue one. Blue three. That's Argyle. All right, he just took one shock off and got a horrible... I was gonna try to wheel backwards, but it didn't happen. Red flag. Wouldn't he have reloaded also? Oh, to both dice to wheel backwards, yeah. Never mind. Red well, flag. at least I'm getting my flags out of the way. Good job. Oh, that's three flags in a row. That's these guys for moving. Continue moving. Oh, Ooh, that should be interesting. That could be good or bad. What do you think? <laughs> I'm guessing bad, but uh... nothing happens but a mighty wind, <laughs> and that would clear any smoke. But so that means we're all reloaded. <laughs> I was going to say everybody automatically reloads. <laughs> Woohoo! The wind reloaded us. Two. That's Sergeant Martin or Knox. Or... So that's just one. Yeah. Okay. Two each. You're still starting to, uh, yeah, you're definitely losing them all. Four. That's Montrose. Uh, so he's going to use his two flags to activate these guys and try to finish off the cannon. Thirteen against seven. Oh man, you hit my dice. Yeah, well. I only got one. It's war. Um, so fives and sixes? Yeah. I got so four. Check your leader. And I know it's smileier because I'm. No, it's actually not. Yeah, it is. See what happens to him? He's knocked out. So Driscoll's knocked out. And then we lost by a bunch. So we're just going to fall back 18, 4 shock. We'll just take him out. Uh, well, but if you take him out, then I can't uh, continue. Well, they're going to fall back 18. That's the, the table. Ah, They're out of here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so we don't know what happens. Is he at D6? I, I really don't know. You get to do like a D6 consolidation. I, what happens here? I would think I'd do something. So he won. I can find nothing about what happens. It doesn't say like when you win or it might. I don't know. I seem to remember... I'm just tired. I've looked through the rules and I don't see it. So. Not having uh, any clear... I know usually a game is like a D6, but like you said, if you're running as fast as you can, maybe it should be like D2Ds, I don't know. So I got a status leader one, leader killed, poor Driscoll, four, uh, that's minus one, and then I had a group wiped out for the cannon, that's minus two, 
So I'm down to six. Six to five. Yep. He still has five shock on him. <laughs> but really, that was the only way you can activate him because remember, he's down to no command. So that was yeah. probably a good call there. Oh, I still got to do something with these guys. <laughs> I forgot that was an interrupt. So he just wheeled one and only could go as far as that and then took a shock. So now I got these guys in my midst. Three. That's Hancock. Two? Yep. One shock each for a total of two. Okay. Ready to assault. Blue flag. Did you take your dead guy out? I did kill one guy. I missed that. Okay. So. The cannon crew was not very good. Oh, so just you, you used your two. Oh, I actually got two. Yep. First thing I want to do is I'm going to move him up and we're going to fire at him, see if we can get some more shock on him. So I did load as a rifle, so fives. Actually, an effective range with the rifles. I mean, fours. One, two, three. I guess soft cover, right? Because I'm shooting yeah. through the woods. So two more shock. Oh. Because you shot me in the butt. So you're actually going to do an involuntary withdrawal. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> this is Andre's being very annoying tonight with these <laughs> all these crazy things that are happening. Hey. I only did uh, so one annoying thing. Fall back you did this one. One inch. I guess. Well, do I fall back? Away uh, from the shooting, or I, which? What is back here? I guess you would go this way. Yeah, it doesn't really say. It says fall back. So I guess you'll just go one inch this way. Works for me. And then roll a bad thing for um, involuntary involuntary <laughs> withdrawal. <laughs> Voluntary. Oh, minus Ooh. one. So you're gonna lose a card now. Minus one or minus two? It's just I think minus one. One voluntary withdrawal. The worst you can get is a one. Okay. All right, now that's him, so he's unloaded. And then uh, I'm gonna do something with these so guys. Charge Captain Russell into Ram's bottom. All I gotta do is kill both your leaders. Oh man. I got a good roll that time. I got three. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So let me roll for my leaders. It's ah. not the leader. Okay, that's game. So I lost three guys and you lost the rest of yours. Yeah. All right, awkward left-handed handshake. We'll be back to wrap it up. All right, so game over. <laughs> game over, finally. <laughs> On Independence Day, the Americans have won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks to Ram's Bottom stopping, well, actually, even when you stopped, didn't really stop you. <laughs> <laughs> you still had five shock, but you got those two, those two cards really let you light yep. up for Driscoll. Which, man, I was hoping that I could get him and just do a canister to the face of Ram's bottom, like, point blank. Oh, it was going to be ugly if uh, things didn't go right, which, in a couple places, they really didn't go right. Yeah, over here for you. How, well, how many times did I fire my main line? Once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One time, yeah, that sucked. And I only fired mine once. Yeah, but... I never fired them once. I was going to fire him. You almost was, fired him. I almost fired him, but then he took off, sadly. And then, uh, yeah. And your cannon fired once, I think. Maybe twice. And you hit these. Yeah, yeah, maybe twice. Yeah, I think you Yeah, you fired it, them and them. And over here, you were in trouble over here. Because I still had these guys who yep. eventually could have made it over there. No, that, uh, yeah... Yeah, I, I just never should have gone in the orchard. But. Yeah, I was a little surprised you did because I was going to be in hard cover against soft cover. Plus, I had these guys. But I was really worried because well, they weren't you were, getting cards. you were moved back at the time. Yeah. You were busted apart, so. Yeah, it took me a full turn, so I didn't get to shoot for one full turn trying to get them back into line, but they did. And then did. I didn't get to shoot because I didn't pull a card, and that pretty much toasted me. Yeah. But that one time you did shoot, you got you were hitting on twos. <laughs> oh, it was no, it was an insane volley, and I really should have pulled out of there. It was just I knew how much damage I was going to do, good. 
But hardcover but, negated a lot of that damage. If yeah. I wasn't in hardcover, I mean, even in hardcover, you got to do that shot. Yeah. <laughs> you got, but 18 shots hitting on twos. And you hit, you did put some pretty good shock on and killed a couple guys with that. Yeah, the problem was uh, I needed to get the right cards after, you know, after that to uh, pull back out or press the advantage um, on that. Well, that was right around the time the Dragoons were coming in and there was just a major shift in the game. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that was... Uh, I was surprised we both got the Dragoons in at the same... all on the same turn. I can't believe my main line is still stuck right here. I had... that's basically where it was when the Dragoons came in and I was worried that I was actually going to be um, what I was going to do is move up and swing around. That's where I wanted to be, but I also wanted the Dragoons to have gone by before, but I didn't get them in the right order. Well, plus you had a shock from hell from that canister shot. That there, took you a long time, several turns to get and even get it down to a manageable movement level. Yeah, that, uh, that really hurt, but uh, just rolling ones multiple times for my uh, movement and this whole line just did not move well. Yeah, I think like we were talking about off camera, moving up separate, like two groups of two, and then joining them together closer to where you want to be. Not necessarily when you, where you want to be because then you're taking fire, but at least move them up to here separately. Well, and then join them together. On the flip side of that though, I got a bunch of bad rolls, so when you've got one big line with a bunch of bad rolls, it's really bad. Yeah. But if you got one big line with good rolls, the whole line is getting good rolls. So yeah, it's a it's a gamble, and it did not pay off. No. So anyway, uh, that's it for this one. So congratulations USA. to those uh, revolting Americans. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, yeah, the uh, we got a new feature on the Patreon page. Um, we're gonna do a little bit more in-depth, um, inside baseball type uh, stuff about the game and our thoughts, and maybe we talk about our favorite unit, uh, our worst unit, our favorite moment, something we learned. Just a little bit more in-depth, and uh, we're gonna go in this video, which is probably super long at this point. <laughs> so anyway, thanks to all our patrons, especially the ones that are on the board tonight. Stephen Russell, Dan Klain, he lived tonight. Go Dan! Uh, Scott Driscoll, uh, well, <laughs> he'll be back next time. But he actually did really good this game. He almost took Tatanka out. He got a canister shot yeah, off. That was he uh, did really well. So dragoons to the face is hard to deal with. Yeah, yeah, and those are the I think the only three patrons we have. We have more patrons, but none of them have said they gave me and said they wanted to be a character yet. So. I'm pretty sure that's all of them. I don't want to forget anyone, but uh, I think that's it. So thanks to those guys, and thanks to all all the patrons, really. Not just the ones who were on the board tonight, but all of them. So uh, thanks for watching this one, and we'll see you next week.